This build's going to look a little weird at first because of how I slotted everything. Because this is not actually the build. I just want to show these abilities to get them out of the way really quick. Your corruptions, physical and mental, they're single target. So obviously they only affect one target. They give you flat resistances. Um, they're not both at level 10. I only have one at level 10 because I had to go and find mental corruption. Sometimes it drops really easily. Other times it doesn't at all. Difference between the two. Physical reduces the healing to that target. And then mental reduces the output of healing from the target. So you throw this on a healer. You throw this on the target that would receive it. They both can reduce healing up to 100%. They do not affect heal over time effects. That's pretty much all you need to know about those two. Hurricane versus Ravage. Hurricane, big area. Hit six times. Slows targets. And while that's not exactly terrible, the time that you spent spinning that damn thing, you could have been in somebody's face just meleeing constantly. Which you'll notice if you get too close, it doesn't always hit every target. You want to be a little farther away. And of course you have your Ravage, which, well, it roots. And a two second root is superior to this and not being able to just go boom, they're rooted, and then you're hitting them for at least three hits. Because generally, yeah, they're going to try and run away. Or maybe they'll blink. Maybe you get their blink early or you get their freedom and then that's down for a tiny bit. It just works out better, especially in group play. Try to remember that. It's like a PSA. Hurricane, it's good for the area that it does damage. But the only reason I'd use it is probably if you're hitting more than three targets. So let's go ahead and swap what I would normally run back into this build. So we're going to go ahead and get Handle Bash in here, which I guess we'll throw right there. And then I would probably say Burning Hook. It's going to look a little weird because, well, one, I have two hooks. Which, I mean, you can swap out Burning Hook for any other ability that you want. You can swap out Shatter for any other ability that you want, but I personally would not recommend it. Unless you don't want Shatter. I don't know why you wouldn't. I mean, it's a percentage damage increase. It starts at 20%, it goes to 40%. Fantastic. Your two hooks, one heals you. Obviously, they both pull the target to you. It doesn't work on the training dummies. But one will heal you. Oops, sorry. One does damage over time. I'm too used to pressing E and Q, because that's usually my combo. Which, obviously, you can see if I pull them to me, I want to hit them with sh uh, Shatter. But needless to say... Burning Hook, really good damage over time, 40 damage. Uh, it probably should do a little bit of direct damage, just so, you know, it doesn't feel as eh. But currently, it's it's actual damage over time effect is really good, so can't really complain too much there. And then obviously you have Mental Sweep. Hits three targets. It only says one target, doesn't make sense. Ravage says two targets, hits three targets. Pretty simple. Uh, Mental Sweep is superior to Sweep because of the amount of resistance most armors have. Cloth would be the only exception to this rule, but Mental Sweep will be better on every other armor type. So if you're playing War Scythe, you want to try and get Mental Sweep. Uh, Shatter, of course, for the resistance. Well, resistance debuff. Your chains, you don't really need Burning Hook right away, but if you can get Burning Hook if you want more damage over time, you can swap it to where Hemorrhage changes until you can actually equip both. Or you could switch to whatever you want. And then of course you have Ravage, which I would say is probably one of the better abilities. Mostly because they're going to be rooted, you're going to be able to hit them, your team's going to be able to hit them. It just works out. And then, of course, Handle Bash, single target, about 40% uptime, fantastic ability. Doesn't do a lot of damage. It does okay damage, but the only real reason to use it is literally the stun. 
but you have to make sure not to stun them too often, otherwise you'll fill up the determination bar. Then they're immune, so then you can't root them, you can't stun them, you can't pull them, etc. So try to be mindful of that while you're fighting. Don't fill the determination bar if you can help it. But outside of that, you have the standard leather build for it. Freedom, Zephyr, Drain Life, Sprint. Pretty goddamn obvious. You can go Robe, which... Let me go ahead and pull some of these off. Which then I would probably say, obviously, Blink. Aether Form for sure. There's just no reason not to use Aether Form. You can use Earthquake, but it's probably too risky. I would say Delayed Teleport would be the superior option. And then Draining Burst for the healing aspect of it. So if you teleport into their group, like say you hit it again and it immediately teleports. You can root them all, you can drain them all, it doesn't really matter. The radius increases as you get it, but as you can see... <laughs> the healing on Training Burst is fucking disgusting. It, it's just... It, it's disgusting. But yeah, that's pretty much War Scythe in a nutshell. You kind of get two builds in one here, but it's... It's pretty obvious. Blink. AoE Drain when they're rooted, or they're stunned, or whatever. The Delayed Teleport because it's fantastic. And then Aether Form because CC immunity is god. And you only need to 18 to get your termination full. Why the fuck not? Which you can do that with Earthquake, but that's that's all your choice. But yeah, that's Warsythe. Fantastic.